it is equal to greater than the density of the fluid. So what's going to happen now? Right? So the object is here and the water, if the water spills, collects over here. So this buoyant force, right? The buoyant force of the water is equal to this. Is that now equal to the weight of the object? In this case, no, because all of the object is sinking under, it displaces a volume of fluid equal to its own volume, right? But since it is less dense than the fluid, or since the object is more dense than the fluid, the buoyant force of the fluid on the object is less than the um, weight of the object. So you have the buoyant force and you have the weight of the object so we have uh, mg minus buoyant force. So the, there's gravity on it. Then the object is buoyed up by this force. This is known as the apparent weight of the object. Apparent weight of the object in the fluid. If you have gone in uh, swimming in a pool, you notice that things are lighter in the pool. That's why you can lift weights in the pool. Usually, like older people, they do weightlifting in the pool because things weigh less because of the buoyant force. So this is known as the apparent weight of the object. So what I want to do now is take this wood out, fill the cylinder with water again, take a aluminum a cylinder here, find its weight, regular weight, outside of water, So it's 108.7, 108.7. So that's the, the mg, 108.7, but without the 9.8, just grams. Okay. Now let's put it, uh, let's take it, hang it from the string here. You can see the cylinder is hanging from the string from the balance. I'm gonna take my cylinder full of water and put it in the beaker and I'm gonna gently place this in the water and let it start dripping, dripping, dripping. Let's now find, let's now weigh it while it is in water. That's the apparent weight of the object, okay? So it's gonna be, looks like it's about, like 70 okay so 70.2 not even 71 so 70.2 so its apparent weight is 70.2. It's apparent mass, we can call it. 70.2 grams. So no, notice it has a less weight in water. It was, its regular mass was 108.7. Its apparent mass is 70.2 grams. So now if I weigh the water, how much should the mass of the water be? Okay, the mass of the water is equal to the buoyant force on the object. So it should be the difference of the two. So 
this is the fun part here. Raising it up, raising it up. Taking this, there's a little spillage here and a little water getting stuck, so we're not exactly expecting perfect, perfect, but let's now weigh the beaker. Okay, it's 150, 100, 200, 350, 353.3. 353. So together with the beaker, it's weighing 353.3. Well, mass of the beaker was 315.1. So we subtract the two, two, 13 minus five, eight, four, one, uh, one three. 38.2 grams. That means 38.2 grams of water was collected. Now, what's the buoyant force? Okay, we call that certain variable x. So, if its regular mass was 108 and its apparent weight was 70, what's the x? X equals the difference of the two, right? 108.7 minus 70.2. 5.8 um, and uh, 3, right? 38.5. So according to this, the buoyant force on it is 38.5. We collected 38.2 grams of water, which is excellent because our number is going to be a little smaller than this because some water is not going to come out. It's going to get stuck to the sides or to the cylinder. So this is perfect because we're about 0.3 grams off only. So Archimedes will, would uh, roll over his grave if, we had, if he had seen this. Okay, thank you.